Hi everyone, it's Joy, the Director of Education at PBS Reno, and today I have a joyful moment to share with you. Have you ever touched someone and it shocked you? Ouch, I hate that. That is because of static electricity. Why does that happen? Let's talk about it. So today I brought my friend Michaela with me to help demonstrate why this happens. We're gonna start by each blowing up a balloon. Now, have you heard the saying, opposites attract? So what we're gonna do is we're going to rub these balloons on our shirts. When we do that, it's picking up a lot of negative atoms called electrons. Now, electrons wanna be with protons because opposites attract negatives and positives. So when we rub this on our shirt, it's picking up a lot of negatives. Now, when I hold it next to Michaela's hair, her hair stands on end. Now that is because opposites attract. The balloon has a lot of negatives because we picked up extras and her hair is positively charged. So her hair wants to stick to the balloon. Opposites attract, want to come together. Let's try another way. All right, so now we're each going to charge our balloon again and it's picking up a lot of extra negatives, a lot of electrons. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it right by our ping pong ball over the top of it and move our balloon around. Ooh, do you see the ping pong ball moving? When I move my balloon forward, the ping pong ball moves forward. When I move it to the side, it moves the ping pong ball to the side. Again, opposites attract. That ping pong ball wants to come and be near my balloon because it's positively charged and my balloon is negatively charged. Opposites attract. Should we try another one? All right, let's charge our balloons again. Picking up extra electrons again. Now we're gonna hold this piece of plastic over the top of our charged balloon. This plastic is just a cut strip from a produce bag that I got at the grocery store. Oh, look what it's doing. It's pushing it away. Now, this is not opposites, right? Because they're not attracting. Instead, they're repelling. They're pushing away from each other. So that means this is negatively charged and this is negatively charged and they are pushing away. When they're the same, they actually repel. Ooh, nice. Let's do one more experiment with this. So this time we're gonna charge our balloons again. Let's get lots of negatives on here, lots of electrons. And this time, we're gonna hold it over some crispy rice cereal. Now, when I do that, look what happens. Oh, do you see the crispy rice starting to stand up? Michaela's is working really well. I might need to charge mine a little bit more, but Michaela is picking up that cereal. It's jumping right up onto her balloon. Ooh, mine are standing up. There they go. Well, thanks, Michaela, for your help today. If you want to do more fun activities, check out our website at pbsreno.org. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see more joyful moments, and you can find other fun activities at pbsreno.org.